Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Super Mario set review. Today we are looking at set number 71407, this is the Cat Peach Suit and Frozen Tower set. This will be retailing for $79.99 USD or $99.99 Canadian beginning on August the 1st. This was actually sent to me early by LEGO Slash Land to do a review for and I think, I, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure this is actually the tallest set that we've ever had for the theme. Um, it is a, quite a build. Because I was sent it so early, I actually didn't have access to the instructions. And I built nearly the entire thing without instructions, just reference pictures. I'm pretty proud of that. The whole functions worked. It was just some of the bricks on the inside I got wrong that I've since changed since I saw the instructions app. Anyways, you don't really care about that. You want to see this set. And I... I love the idea of this. This is like a rescue set. And you're going to see just some of the things that you can even implement here uh, that isn't r really mentioned in any of the instructions and things like that that I feel like is there deliberately. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look. So I've actually gone ahead and set this up. And the very first thing that I want to mention, which you'll see later, is there's actually a spot for you to put the different characters, the digital characters, on the very top. And what I did yesterday with the Peach's castle was up at the top. You could rescue her by putting her up in the balcony. And it's almost recreating those classic, you know, moments from Mario when he is actually chasing down Bowser and they've kidnapped Peach. And, of course, the different characters. Uh, residents of the uh, Mushroom Kingdom with Toad there and you you know you go and you fight the the mini boss here Kamek and then you know sometimes Peach is there but before you get to the top you know she's kidnapped and taken away and I feel like that's really cool that they have that spot up there I, I think to put Peach in peril or, you know, even just to maybe capture the tower. I don't know. I, I, I like to think that way. All right, here's the bottom of the tower. And I got to say, just aesthetically, I really love the location build here. Even the fact that they made, like, the little bell, the cat bell bush or tree or whatever that is, I think is awesome. I, I really do love that. And just, like, the flowers going around here and here. Like, it's just fun. So, anyways, what you do is let's start and turn the power button on for Peach. You go ahead. And you like knock the fruit over here, which is a new feature, this this uh, wave. When you get the fruit, it shows up there uh, on the screen. And then you actually deliver it to a character, which you'll see as we go through this. But uh, So you can come around here and you knock over the cat Goomba. Take a coin. And then over here, hidden inside of the ice, is actually... A little coin block so if you wanted to you could easily just swap that out and put a different block inside there I think uh, that's really cool just that how the whole sort of tower is covered in ice but even some of the stuff down here on the ground and just the functionality of doing that I think is really neat now in order to progress through here we actually need to put the cat suit on so you could see uh, you've got like the different paw uh, prints there going around you even got um, a little flower there which is a very similar vase uh, build or vase build to um, the one that appears in Peach's castle and this is what it looks like here in the back uh, nothing too special we've got that new transparent uh, p pillar piece that comes in white as well in a couple of different sets so yeah cool to see that here it's sort of holding the tower together there in the back so what you do is you take Peach and you just pull forward and the arms there of that will actually display the rest of the suit. And I, I love the fact that suits are being integrated into bigger sets, like the Poltergust. I, I think that that's so much better than just a $10 set. I really like that. I, I don't know, I miss the $10 suits, but I like the brick butt one, it's tough. But this is just fun that, uh, like, it's just such a fun functionality here to uh, sort of give you the suit. So, the little cat ears, very easy to remove. Same with uh, this, the bottom part of the suit. However, this is very annoying. You you like literally have to put your nail or maybe a Lego remover there in between that and the cone piece. I don't know how else they could have done that, but it's just, it's a real pain to uh, remove and put on every single time. But, uh, and then you gotta rebuild it there and you can put things back to normal. All right, so I want to go ahead and show you the transformation between regular Peach to Cat Peach. First things first, we're going to take off the dress part here on the bottom, and then we're going to attach the cat bottom 
and you'll see that the power up actually shows up there on the screen and you've got a printed tail there on the back as well as you can see i don't know there's like a lot of extra space there where her dress doesn't have that so i'm not really sure why they chose to do that why it's not molded closer to her um, but then you can put the little hands on here just like that and then this is really cool i really i, I didn't catch this before but you actually take the little ears there put that on and then you take the crown and attach it on top because you can see here that uh, up above there's actually four studs just like her regular head and then you go ahead and attach the crown there i think that that's really really cool that they thought of that to include it all right so she's all ready to go here so what you do is you take peach and you climb on up And you'll notice she's actually invincible here to the red sometimes. I, I, I don't understand what, I think it's, I, I don't know what happened there. It's very weird. Sometimes it, 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 when I've tested this, it, it'll, it'll burn her. Oh my goodness, it charred the fruit. Look at that. Huh, that's so cool. Anyways, I just realized here uh, that uh, you couldn't see a little better but see she's fine no fire okay she's starting to catch on fire so what you do is you just you just push on this here you, i saw in the video they like hammer it but all you gotta do is just really give it a bit of pressure and it'll knock out that ice piece here on this side revealing this other one again same thing just hold down uh the whole tower here and then push and you're good to go and then revealing this pow block here which you're meant to like you come back here, pop around, and you knock Kamek off of the tower. All you gotta do is remove this pin here from the back, and you can remove it just like that. And it's it's meant to be able to do that, otherwise they wouldn't include that, even like the fact that this transparent piece here is not just there for stability, but uh, that ability to lock in the top of the tower as you're like hitting it. So don't worry, if you knock the broom off with Kamek, you can just pretend that Peach jumps on it, flies back up here, and then you'll see in the video, they actually have you go like this. You just hit the side of the tower and then you can actually uh, just come here and deliver this and rescue Toad. But I thought of something else here. With the paw prints here on the side, what if you're meant to actually walk on up here to the top? And you know how like sometimes when you beat a level, like you jump on the flagpole and there's an enemy on screen, it'll defeat it. What if the same thing happens here where like you jump on the top here, you beat the level, and then it automatically unlocks and frees Toad. Just thought I'd, I'd mention that. Here is Kamek. Absolutely love the build for Kamek and just the whole design, like the hat, like the sort of dress and everything, how it's on an angle, the eyes, all that. Really great. However, they were just in a set last year in Bowser's airship. And that's a great set. Fantastic. Glad that they were the enemy there. But it's like, really, we're, we're, we're getting them already so soon. Also, the wand is a different build than like the Koopaling. So kind of frustrating. But uh, underneath is actually a spot for you to defeat Kamek. And you get some coins. But also, of course, Kamek would be incomplete without the broom. And what's interesting is... Um, the, the different feet, like the front ones, they're a little bit looser. You know, they can be easily removed. However, if you attach the back studs, it's a lot firmer. See how the, the whole pillar's not wobbling? Here, I can just easily lift the same amount of force. So when you attach Kamek to the broom, if you put them in the front, they're easy to fall off. But if you attach the back feet there, um, they're a lot sturdier there and you need to actually, you know, hit the pow block a lot more, I think, to knock them off. And of course here with the broom, really cool build. And you could actually take Peach and fly around on the broom. Here is the Cat Goomba. Love this variant. I think it's awesome. Just the print there on that tile, the white feet, as well as the tail. I think that's really smart how they did that. There is a spot here in the back, of course, to jump on the Goomba and get a coin. And then from the tower here, we have Toad. And I don't think this is new. I'm pretty sure the face is the exact same one from the Luigi's Mansion set this year. But it's just cool to have a Toad here included in the set. I love that we're getting more and more Toads. Uh, I really don't mind. I'm populating my Mushroom Kingdom here. I think that's really fun that there's another one in the set. All right, so I've actually gone ahead and added the starter pipe and then the flag there at the end to play through this. 
both of them from the starter course. Come on. And then we're we're gonna need to get this stuff here, the cat suit on. All right, let's continue through here. There we go. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Catsuit Peach and Frozen Tower set. I really love the idea of like this mini boss fight. And of course, you could actually take out Kamek uh, together with another player. If you actually want to go grab the cat suit of Mario, you can, you know, attack from both sides, uh, taking out the ice faster and stuff like that. I think that's really cool. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this set? What do you think of suits being in, like, this is the most expensive set that has had a suit so far. So I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on all that. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Super Mario set news and reviews. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.